why do people behave the way they do? Some psychologists would say it's all about childhood experiences. Others would argue, nope, it's habits you learn from your environment. And still others would jump in, wait, wait, it's about your thoughts and choices. Sounds confusing, right? Welcome back to the Learning Studio. In today's episode of our psychology series, we're breaking down the major schools of thought in psychology, the different ways psychologists have tried to explain human behavior. One, psychoanalysis, the unconscious mind. Let's start with psychoanalysis, founded by Sigmund Freud. Freud believed that most of our behavior is driven by unconscious desires, things we're not even aware of. Example, imagine you dream about forgetting to study for an exam. Freud might say that dream isn't random. It reveals hidden fears or conflicts inside you. He also talked about the ID, ego, and superego, basically, the battle between our instincts, our morals, and our reality. Now, some of Freud's ideas were a bit controversial, but he started the conversation about how powerful our unconscious mind can be. Behaviorism. It's all about learning. Next came behaviorism, which said, forget the unconscious. We should only study what we can actually see. Behavior. Remember Pavlov's dogs who drooled when a bell rang? That's classical conditioning. Learning by association. Later, B.F. Skinner showed how rewards and punishments shape behavior. Think about it. Why do you check your phone every time it buzzes? Because sometimes there's a reward, a new message, a funny meme, or maybe just a like. Congratulations, you've been conditioned just like Pavlov's dogs. Three, humanism, the positive approach. Then came humanism. Instead of focusing only on problems or conditioning, humanistic psychologists like Carl Rogers and Abraham Maslow emphasized growth, free will, and personal potential. Maslow even made the famous hierarchy of needs, where basic needs like food and safety come first, and once the are met, people of self-actualization, becoming the best version of themselves. In short, humanism says, you're not just shaped by your past or environment, you have the power to grow and choose your path. 4. Cognitive psychology, the mind as a computer. Finally, cognitive psychology looked at the brain like a computer. It studies how we think, learn, solve problems, and remember information. Example, why do you forget someone's name right after meeting them? Or how can you trick your brain into remembering a shopping list without writing it down? Cognitive psychology explores all of that. Why these schools matter. So which school of thought is correct? Well, all of them. Each one adds a different piece to the puzzle of human behavior. Modern psychology actually blends them together. A therapist today might use cognitive strategies, humanistic support, and even a little behaviorist conditioning, depending on what works best. So here's the takeaway. Psychology isn't one single way of thinking. It's a mix of powerful perspectives that together help us understand people better. In the next episode, we'll explore the branches of psychology, like clinical, counseling, educational, forensic, and more. This will give you a clear map of where psychology can actually take you as a career. Check the playlist link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe, because trust me, this journey is just getting started.